Welcome to another edition of Plugin Police and the YouTube channel. Too many plugins. Uh, I've been for some time away. I have some technical issues to f solve uh, uh, for the YouTube channels. I uh, need to invest in a new PC that I'm now slowly doing. And uh, bought some new equipment to, to make all the streaming and the audio better. And uh, to have some more uh, capabilities of... Uh, of uh, setting up a nicer, uh, uh, a nicer uh, YouTube uh, videos and uh, to enhance a little bit uh, the channel, but it's uh, it hasn't been really so easy. And uh, in this moment, also the prices of the things are uh, really, really, really expensive. So uh, for computer gear, I went to half with used and half with new, uh, just to be able to uh, to do this. I was running an uh, an older eight core uh, processor, but uh, it was. Uh, really already slowing everything very very much down uh, today you need minimum like uh, uh, even for music production and for streaming you need uh, uh, a computer with some horsepower that's not older than uh, four or five years and uh, that has uh, enough horsepower enough memory to keep up and also has a fast storage so there you go we're investing in some new microphones a new mixing table and uh, and a new uh, uh, a new computer uh, to make uh, make all of this happen. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to have a new segment I'm um, going to introduce also. Uh, this is uh, just uh, uh, the beginning of it. It's going to be um, a plugin of the week that just every week we just select a, a nice uh, a plugin. It uh, doesn't matter if it's paid or unpaid. unpaid. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's new or old. Every week we just grab a, a plugin uh, and, uh, and go through it and... Uh, uh, the ones that, for some reason, I think they stand out uh, of the rest, or uh, or temporarily in a promotion, or, or anything like that. Uh, and for this week is uh, the plugin that I use a lot. Uh, it is uh, Universal Vocal Remover Five. It's uh, uh, call it a stem separation tool. Uh, uh, it can this one can only do instruments and vocal separate. You have also other ones, uh, many or even paid versions that can also do synthesizers and. Uh, uh, and uh, all all the um, all the stems separate, uh, you, so you have some uh, programs and uh, even DJ software today that can do that. Uh, that can separate even in in more uh, separate st uh, s strings and instruments and vocals and in separate stems. But this one does only two. It does only instruments and it does only vocals. Um, if you use it on your CPU, it's pretty slow actually. Uh, one track can take up to 10, 15 minutes. Uh, if you do it on your GPU, if you have a recent NVIDIA GPU, then you can do GPU conversion and uh, it accelerates it uh, by, by about 20 times. Uh, so uh, it makes it really, really, really much faster. But uh, uh, this is a very, very, very nice tool. It's, by the way, free. You can find it just Google uh, Ultimate uh, Vocal Remover. I call it many times Universal. I don't know why, because it's Ultimate Vocal Remover number five. Uh, I think you can find it on GitHub also. Uh, this is the one I always use for separating the vocals from uh, from the instrumental and uh, what I just use uh, when, I, uh, when I make remasters. Uh, my remasters many times what I do uh, they are not fantastic is because what I do is uh, I uh, I already uh, I use already uh, compressed audio so uh, I'm many times I'm not using a uh, 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 lossless audio or wave uh, I'm using already something that is already MP3 compressed or uh, uh, internet compressed in general uh, so uh, but uh, uh, there you go of course if you want to have the best uh, masters then uh, grab it from uh, uh, a raw uh, a flock lo uh, lossless audio or a, a CD or a WAV file, something that was never compressed because compression uh, introduces all sorts of artifacts and uh, uh, you lose quality. I mean, that's just the way it is. But uh, this one I can highly recommend. I use it all the time for my remasters. Again, saying that my remasters many times is stuff taken already from compressed stuff, so which is not great. I need to start... Uh, Actually, also, I'm going to do this also now in my PC, is, um, that I haven't used for years, but I have a huge uh, CD collection, I have a huge uh, vinyl collection, and uh, I think what I'm going to do again is uh, uh, install a, a DVD and CD player so I can uh, rip uh, rip uh, samples uh, in uh, WAVE without uh, losing any quality, and then start making uh, uh, remasters like that, which going to sound much better, and also just taking stuff directly from vinyl, and then clean it up a little bit, uh, take the pops and the, the scratches out and uh, start using that because uh, doing anything with audio production with compressed stuff is uh, actually uh, completely terrible it's, uh, 
uh, you, there's quality that, that, that you lose by compression that you never get back, so there you go. Um, but uh, this is the one all the time use, Universal uh, Ultimate Vocal Remover 5. There are other solutions, even online ones, I think, in web browsers that you can also separate the things, and I think that uh, um, Serato have it now also, and I think Fruity Loops also, there are a bunch of DAWs, so these are audio workstations and DJ software already that has stem separation integrated in it. But this is the one that I uh, always use. Uh, it's slow, it takes a long time, but uh, the quality you can get really good. I use always the, the ultimate uh, vocal remover MDX net uh, high quality three uh, setting over here. Uh, so uh, there you go. Uh, I have another computer also where I have a fast recent uh, uh, NVIDIA uh, graphics card so I can uh, on that computer uh, uh, do qu qu quicker conversion than uh, on this one. This one uh, has also an NVIDIA card, but it's too old, so it cannot. Uh, you cannot use it here for uh, for doing the the conversion. So uh, that's a little bit of a shame. Uh, so that's why I'm also I am uh, upgrading everything over here. It's uh, a slow and expensive process in this moment because uh, with the hyperinflation and uh, the prices of everything is just really, really, really expensive, especially like computer parts. Uh, Processors are pretty cheap, but uh, storage already went really, really up. A couple of months ago, you could get actually really cheap storage, uh, both NVMe drives, SSDs, uh, and normal SSDs, uh, uh, two and a half uh, inch. Uh, but now also, I think it has to do with the bl blockade over there uh, uh, on the sea, uh, that all of a sudden the prices of uh, drives just uh, doubled and almost everywhere sold out. And uh, a graphics card keep on being here in Portugal, also I'm talking about Portugal, uh, the prices here are... Uh, almost a double or the triple as, as in the United States. So uh, if you want here uh, uh, an NVIDIA 460 or 360 or something, uh, RTX 360 or something, you're paying here almost like uh, 400 to 450 bucks. And I know that in the United States, they they sell those things minimum for 100 to 150 euros cheaper than, uh, than here in Portugal. So, but there you go. Uh, we're slowly upgrading everything to uh, put some more... Um, uh, quality uh, in uh, in the YouTube channel. Gonna also change uh, change the name of uh, of this channel because plugin pollution. Apparently, already a guy is using uh, Weaver Beats. So he has a segment in his videos. It's called Plugin Police. His channel is just Weaver Beats. But so I have to also look for another channel. I have another channel. Also, the other uh, watches of too many plugins. So uh, maybe sometimes get confused because I always announce everything as Plugin Police. But there's another channel called Too Many Plugins that receive the same videos as here. So but there you go. This for me in this moment is a plugin of this week that I uh, actually this week even use the most. It's uh, uh, Ultimate Vocal Remover Five, uh, a free uh, software you can use, not the fastest. But uh, excellent piece of kit. Uh, you can change here to a uh, wave, uh, flock, lawless, or MP3, uh, flock, uh, lossless, or uh, MP3. Then here's the choose method, uh, uh, processing methods. So you can even download other ones via Architect, MDX, Net, DMAX, assembled mode, and audio tools. And you can even download other ones. You can uh, adjust the segments here, how big you want to have the segments. Uh, the overlap, you can also uh, change over here and uh, which uh, model. And you can download more, more models if you want. Then here, a GPU conversion or CPU conversion. Uh, instrument vocals only, sample mode for only 30 seconds. And uh, then over here, you select your input and your output. And uh, then uh, your input is the file you want to convert. And the output is the folder where you want to put it in. And then you get there one file called instruments only and one file called vocals only. The only thing with this one is that sometimes wind sounds and certain kind of uh, very slight uh, synthesizer sounds sometimes can uh, can uh, still come uh, uh, attached still to the vocals. So sometimes also a little bit of a, uh, you got a chorus or a little bit of um, um, of echo on the voice sometimes can uh, uh, jump over and. Uh, for example, the instrumental still contains a little bit of uh, of an echo of the vocal. So there's sometimes a little bit that moves over, but it depends also of the track, how complex the track is. So, but there you go. I can highly recommend the Ultimate Vocal Remover 5, a uh, free download. Just Google it, and I uh, think you can also find it um, on uh, GitHub. So, but there you go. Until the next time, stay safe, take care, and I'll catch you in the next one.